Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. So, you know, I've been um, watching uh, a lot of YouTube contributors um, um, demonstrating how to do different things in machining and that sort of stuff. And, uh, and uh, after watching Mr. Pete for quite some time, you know, and he refers to himself as your YouTube shop teacher, I thought it would be... Um, kind of an interesting thing to uh, create a series of videos that I like to call the uh, uh, the YouTube shop student right because uh, these guys have given so much to um, the community um, with their lessons and um, demonstrations and stuff that uh, uh, I like to see if I can actually you know learn this stuff I've you know mentioned several times that I'm a network engineer by trade uh, computer networking I've done that for a lot of years um, but would like to branch out into something that's uh, a little less computerized. Uh, maybe even venture back to some horse and buggy whip stuff <laughs> that uh, Mr. Pete kind of talks about. So um, in this video, I'm going to talk about some of the resources that uh, I have um, that I've purchased um, that I think might help some other people who are trying to learn some of this stuff. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is go through just a very small list of YouTube contributors that I think have have um, um, that, that I've really learned a lot from, right? And just want to express uh, my gratitude and thanks. And those are uh, Mr. Pete 222. Um, his name is Lyle Peterson. Goes uh, as, uh, uh, goes by uh, the moniker uh, Tubal Cain. Uh, not be confused with the uh, uh, the British engineer um, Tom uh, Walshaw. I think his name was uh, who who used the pen name Tubal Cain as two words. Um, Myford Boy, um, guy that uh, uh, he never speaks, but uh, boy, he does pack a whole lot in his in his videos, um, his casting videos, and his machining videos. Uh, Tom's Techniques, um, guys uh, put together actual um, projects and prints and stuff, uh, uh, really to to teach people um, how to use the uh, lathe and milling machine. Uh, Keith Rucker, um, Keith Fenner, uh, Click Spring. Um, uh, Richard from Making Something from Nothing um, has been a big help. Uh, Dave Richards uh, with his uh, steam-powered machine shop is <laughs> just awesome, man. This is some great stuff. Uh, Ox Tools, I think his name's Tom Lipton. Uh, really just some uh, some detail in the weeds. Um, great information, and uh, I, I just I love it. And the more he puts out, this, this the better it gets. Uh, A-Bomb 79, Adam Booth, uh, everybody knows him. Great guy. Uh, never met him, but uh, would love to meet him someday. Um, puts out awesome videos. Uh, Joe Pizinski or Joe Pi, um, awesome videos. Um, Keith Appleton. He's a uh, uh, he's a keyboard player, I think, by trade, but he's a he's a model steam engine guy, and uh, he's just awesome. The stuff that he shows. Uh, Halligan 142. Um, has got some lathe rebuilds and some projects and stuff. And look, there. are are many 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 more and uh, those are just a few of them that I, that I watch on a regular basis and have learned a lot from and uh, so now um, you know Mr. Pete one time <laughs> sorry about that uh, Mr. Pete one time uh, you know uh, went through some books so I, I got a few books of mine out that um, I want to show you uh, particularly aimed at uh, at new people like me that uh, I found very helpful so uh, I'll, uh, I'll leave it at that, and when we come back, uh, we'll, be, we'll talk about some of these books. Well, before I start talking about the books I bought, um, first I want to talk about a man named uh, Mr. Lindsay. Mr. Lindsay uh, used to have a, um, uh, he, he would sell technical books, and these are his catalogs, right? Uh, Lindsay's uh, technical books, and uh, they, you know, they just had about everything that you can think of. So a lot of my books were bought from Mr. Lindsay. Now, um... He was a character, you know, but uh, uh, he's retired and he sold his business office. I mean, his business off, and uh, has. Uh, but someone I believe has uh, uh, bought out his stock of uh, books and continues to sell them. So these books that I want to show you, even though I bought them from Lindsay's, are still available. So, uh, so we'll start with that. Okay, I started off. Um, you know, metal casting, that's kind of what I got into first. And there's, I have several books here that have been kind of helpful. Uh, how to cast uh, small metal and rubber parts. It's kind of interesting when you need to make bumpers and um, feet and and things like that. It's been, been a pretty good book. 
uh, ornamental metal casting. Um, uh, this one is a is is a pretty good book. The Iron Melting Copula Furnace. Um, this book is by Steve Chaston, and I tell you what, this is uh, Steve uh, Chaston. Mr. Chaston has a great series book on uh, metal casting. This book uh, details on how to build a um, an iron melting uh, uh, cupola. I guess it's it's technically called. Great book, The Art of Casting in Iron. Uh, this is an old book reprint that uh, talks about um, you know the management of uh, of uh, cupulas and reverberation reverber furnaces and um, you know foundry equipment and, and all kinds of stuff. Great book. Uh, wood pattern maker and making. Uh, this book discusses uh, you know how to make wood patterns for um, sand casting. It's a good book. Uh, this is a Dave Gingery book. Uh, David Gingery, um, he was kind of my hero, still is for a long time. He's passed, but uh, he has a number of books. Uh, I think you can get them from gingrybooks.com still. This is a little Bertha. This is a, an electric uh, uh, furnace that uh, will melt uh, aluminum. Uh, it's quiet and clean, um, so it's a pretty nice book. This is another David Gingery book. This is a uh, uh, building a gas-fired uh, crucible furnace. Now this is a forced air uh, propane uh, furnace. Gets quite hot. I built one of these. Um, uh, it would uh, it hit the, when my first fire ups. If you look on my website, um, you'll see that uh, it was so hot that it melted the uh, uh, burner tube. You know where I didn't have uh, the air and gas mix mixtures and stuff right. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is a Vince Gingery book. This is uh, his son. This is on uh, how, how you can make clay crucibles um, at home. Here's another Steve Chaston book. Um, if you've done any sand casting, uh, you will realize that uh, uh, that the, the, the dredge work is uh, mulling your sand. And if you have to do that by hand, it's a lot of hard work and a lot of sweat. And this book uh, details on how to build a uh, sand muller. Pretty good. And it's a project that I would like to take on here soon, um, but I think I'm going to do it a way that uh, um, maybe is a little cheaper or at least easier to source parts for people who are just doing this for a hobby and, and that sort of thing. So Steve Chasten has two um, uh, metal casting books, um, Volume 1 and Volume 2, and he, he, t he discusses on um, how to make molding equipment, uh, sand, um, um, all kinds of stuff about uh, uh, furnace building and, and that sort of thing, I would highly recommend this book. And I would highly recommend its, compi uh, its companion, uh, Volume 2. I asked patterns for um, uh, uh, vibrator and stuff for match plates and stuff like that. Uh, this book uh, is about gas burners uh, for forges and furnaces and kilns. Uh, it's a good, good, good book. Gives you an idea of how to, how to build these. Uh, when you want to do some heat treating or melting metal and that sort of stuff. And um, this book here, uh, the U.S. Navy Foundry Manual, uh, this is probably the, uh, this is a must-have book. This book covers um, about everything you want to know uh, about casting for, for, for a, a, new, a new person, right? Now, the, the Navy manuals also have uh, molder books and... Um, um, uh, pattern maker books and stuff like that and you can still get those books a uh, good Google search will will turn up uh, PDF copies of them or um, if you have a recruiting center around you might be able to talk to uh, uh, some of the personnel there about ordering them directly from nav pers so um, that's uh, the extent of my casting books although there are some other ones that uh, you'll probably see in my list uh, as I go on but um, those are those are uh, most of those were very good books. Definitely the Steve Chaston books and um, the Gingery books and um, the, the Foundry Manual book. Great books to have. So uh, the next uh, set of books I'm just going to talk about um, are uh, from, from, from Dave Gingery. And uh, this is kind of really what fired up my interest. So let me, uh, let me get those. So Dave Gingery um, wrote a series of books called Build Your Own Metal Shop from Scrap. And this is really kind of what got me going because I uh, wanted a lathe and I didn't have one, um, didn't have any money. I uh, had more time than money and Dave's philosophy is that uh, 
uh, the same thing. He had more time than money, and he always needed a $50 tool, and he had you know $5 in his pocket. So uh, it's a series of uh, seven books. The first one is uh, Charcoal Foundry. Uh, this explains how to uh, how to build a uh, charcoal foundry for casting aluminum, uh, how to build a flask, and your basic molding equipment. Still a very good book. I would uh, I would still recommend this book. The second book in the series is the Metal Lathe. Uh, this lathe is a uh, uh, about a seven inch swing, about twelve inches between centers. Um, you know, I guess most people probably wouldn't want to build this lathe if they were serious about it, but this lathe does work. And uh, if you look up uh, Maker Size, he built one uh, one of these, and, and I've seen several other others um, built on the internet. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, uh, hand skills that uh, that uh, Dave Gingery teaches you. And remember, you're building something from nothing and working your way up. So anyway, number book number two is the metal lathe. Pretty good book. Uh, number three is the metal shaper. Um, I think that I actually might want to build one of these, but uh, I'd like to get to the point where I can cast uh, iron. Um, and if, you know, if I want to do it, I think might as well, you know, go, you know, go with the heavy stuff. So anyway, there's the metal shaper. Um, book four is a milling machine. Now, this is a little horizontal milling machine. I think he says it's a Lincoln style. If that means something to some of you guys. Um, uh, PGS is uh, currently building one of these on his channel um, and it's been an interesting uh, view but again uh, each one of these books builds up on prior um, experience and and knowledge and skill sets that you've learned so I think it's a, a interesting uh, approach to uh, metalworking book five is the drill press um, you know, benchtop drill presses are uh, pretty cheap, but uh, he claims that uh, he can drill a five-eighths uh, inch hole and half-inch plate in this, or and uh, it, it works just fine. So it's you know interesting and it's part of the series. So I have that. Book number six is uh, dividing head and deluxe uh, accessories. Uh, Dave uh, shows you how to build a uh, forty uh, to one. Um, worm wheel uh, dividing head uh, with the plates and everything uh, for making gears uh, for the uh, lathe in the earlier book and then uh, shows you, uh, you know, how to do the dividing uh, forming a, the, a, a fly cutter to cut the gears and then cutting uh, the gears for his lathe on the um, on the milling machine and then the last book is kind of a, out of place a little bit but it's a it's a sheet metal break and uh, uh, again, just an interesting book. And like I said, I really kind of threw those in because um, um, they're a neat series of book books and a lot to learn from. Now, um, another book, um, this is uh, written by Marvin Guthrie, and it's uh, adding back gears to the Gingery lathe, and he talks about how to make uh, covers for it. So it just kind of expands on that. Uh, it's a good book to have. And another book that... Uh, I find kind of interesting. This is uh, Uncle Dave's uh, shop notebook, and uh, there's just little plans in here for you know like a workbench and um, a stock rack, uh, a, a grinding rest, and some stuff like that. So this is just kind of interesting uh, little project book. So uh, now I'll move on to uh, some of the uh, uh, other books that I bought to kind of help me uh, you know learn a little bit about machining. So let me get those lined up. So, um, you know, everybody's seen the uh, How to Run a Lathe book and uh, the Atlas book and, and that, and, and that's kind of the vein that these are. This is uh, Running an Engine Lathe um, by Fred Colvin. Um, uh, good book for, you know, learning, learning uh, the operations on a lathe. Uh, most all of you guys know this book, uh, Run a Lathe. This is the South Bend uh, uh, publication. This is a 42... 1942 reprint and again this was uh this is um was put out by south bend and then this book was reprinted by Lindsay. but i think these books are still out there this is an old book it's uh called lathe operations and uh basically starts from it's a series of uh, lathe projects um working from you know basic uh to more advanced so that's a that's a good book that's helped me of course this book um you know, this is the manual lathe operations. This is from the Atlas Press Company. Uh, company, uh, you can find these on the internet. Um, uh, you can still get the copies, or you can still get the books on eBay. 
Uh, this is um, between this and the South Bend. Those are the two books that I'd really recommend if you want to learn how to uh, run a lathe and you've never run one before. And then um, along with the uh, along the same lines with the um, lathe, there's I have a book here on shaper operations, and it's uh, it's just a series of processes to learn to use a, sh a shaper from planing you know flat surfaces to keyways to gears to I don't think it goes into convex and concave cur uh, surfaces and I would uh, you know I've always heard that a shaper can do that I would really like to see somebody demonstrate that how how do you cut or how can you cut a concave or a convex surface with a shaper so here's another uh, Colvin book uh, this is uh, running a milling machine and this uh, talks about you know setups and and that sort of stuff I, I got a lot of books, so I'm not really going to go through them. And I have one series of books that I really want to talk about, so we'll keep moving. Uh, milling machine operations. These are just like the lathe and the um, shaper operations. It's a series of uh, procedures or, or projects uh, going from basic to more advanced on, on using a milling machine. So that's kind of a neat book. Uh, machine shop uh, projects. This is the South Bend uh, lathe book, and it's just a, a book full of... Uh, Full of uh, different, you know, projects uh, to make. So that's a, it's a pretty neat book. Elements of machine work. This is an old book. Um, it talks about, um, uh, you know, lathe work and milling operations and that sort of stuff. Uh, machine shop methods. Another book. Uh, great amount of information. Uh, and advanced machine work. It's yet another book that talks about, um, you know, different types of machine work and how it's done from milling to to um, you know, lathe work and and a whole variety of other stuff. So uh, you know, I think any of those uh, books would be good for someone to uh, learn who's interested. Uh, but now I want to talk about another series of books that uh, you may know about, you may not know about, and are a little bit harder to get. But I think they are just simply awesome. So we'll come to those next. So this next series of books is called the Workshop Practice Series. Okay, uh, these come from uh, from Great Britain. And uh, each book covers a specific topic, and uh, um, they're, I mean, these are great books. Uh, the only drawback about these books is trying to get the things shipped to you. Um, I just uh, ordered six more, and uh, on average, you know, it takes anywhere from a week to four weeks to get them. And I don't know how they're shipping them, but I have some thoughts, but probably shouldn't, uh, probably shouldn't express them here. Now, the authors for these books... Um, you guys know this, is, this one here is from Tubal Cain. Now this is Tom Warhol or something like that. I can't remember his name. Engineer, he's uh, deceased. Don't confuse it with uh, Mr. Pete. It's um, you know, it's this Tubal Cain is two words where Mr. Pete uses it uh, uses the moniker in just one word. So anyway, this first book um, there are 49 of these in the series. I don't have them all obviously, but I have several, and I'll just go through real quick uh, what I have. Hardening, tempering, and heat treatment. Uh, this book talks about how to heat treat, uh, temper metals, uh, hard, hardened metals, um, and that sort of stuff. And has a lot of uh, a lot of information on on steel and and its uh, and its properties. Uh, vertical milling in the uh, workshop. This is a book on uh, running, a, you know, basics of uh, running a vertical mill. Um, it's a good book. Uh, screw cutting in the lathe, man! I tell you what. Now this book I've read like three times. This talks about um, uh, setting up gear ratios for screw cutting. Um, we're talking about uh, you know your normal uh, screw thread. So if you're wanting to cut uh, uh, standard threads on a on a on an English lathe or metric threads on an English lathe, or if you need to cut um, or if you need to cut worms and that sort of stuff, it talks about uh, approximations. I never knew that there was uh, that much to know just about cutting screws. It talks about uh, pickups, uh, how to uh, talks about uh, uh, dog clutches and stuff on how to, you know, um, how to, you know, how, when you're doing how much time you can save. I guess in other words, uh, with some of the uh, things that are available on some of these lathes for cutting screws. But we'll move on. <coughs> Excuse me. Foundry work for the amateur. Um, Terry Aspen. This is a this is a pretty good book. Um, again, if you're going to get into metal casting, this is one I would recommend. Um, talks about setting up. Uh, well, like most of the other books, you know, setting up a furnace and and uh, casting temperatures and sand and flask and that sort of stuff. 
Uh, there's another one by Tubal Cain. This is milling operations in the lathe, and this talks about um, uh, how you can perform a number of different milling operations uh, using the lathe, and it specifically talks about the rigidity and stuff, or the lack of, and, and, a, and a whole host of other things. Great book. Measuring and marking metals. Uh, this book is uh, just what it says, you know, on how to measure and mark metals for your projects. Uh, the Art of Welding um, talks about um, uh, welding, obviously. Sheet metal work, you know, bending and fabricating and forming sheet metal, soldering, brazing, and that sort of stuff. Uh, soldering and brazing is uh, specifically that. Talks about um, different aspects of soldering and brazing. Saws and songs, you know, their usage, uh, the types of saws that are available, and, uh, you know, how, the, how, uh, how they're used. Uh, workshop drawing. This is another great book uh, by Tubal Cain. He talks about uh, how to how to read drawings, how to how to how to draw them, um, uh, the different standards, uh, whether if it's uh, first or third view and that that sort of thing. Uh, making small shop tools. This is uh, just a book on um, some tools that you can make in the shop. Um, this I think it has a a, a scissor type knurling and um, and you know some you know other ones. You can see the picture there. Uh, work holding in the lay. This book, uh, another one by Tubal Cain, talks about uh, more. It talks more about how to hold oddball stuff in the lay. You know, how do you how do you grip and hold that, and how do you um, uh, you know just how do you hang on to different things in the lay? That's a good book. Gears and gear cutting by Ivan Law. Now this book uh, I've read probably four times, and I'm going to do a series of videos on a topic that he discusses here. Uh, about making button cutters when you want to make your own um, gears and um, the cutters that to, to make uh, what kind of looks like a brown and sharp cutter uh, also has plans in it for how to make a relieving tool to cut the relief on the cutters themselves and this um, is an awesome book it talks about how um, uh, cycloidal and spur gears are formed um, and the geometry behind them so it's pretty neat uh, basic bench work, you know, Mr. Pete has showed tons and tons of this stuff. Uh, just a good, uh, good addition to it. Uh, the Backyard Foundry is another foundry book. It's uh, another one by Aspen. It uh, covers a lot of the same material, but what I've discovered with books is that you can buy, you know, a dozen books on the uh, same topic, and each book has a little nugget, a little gem there, you know, that uh, you pick up. Uh, simple workshop devices. Uh, these are devices that you can make and use in the workshop. It's another uh, Tubal Cane book. Uh, lathe Work a Complete Course. Um, this is a great book. This uh, this book starts from uh, just turning um, uh, in the lathe and making uses a uh, useful project starting with uh, like a cylindrical square and leveling and and boring and threading and it just goes on and on. It's a great book. It's worth having. Milling a Complete Course, uh, Harold Hall. Uh, same thing. It's a uh, takes a series of uh, projects, uh, useful projects that you would use in the shop, and uh, builds from basic to, to more advanced projects at the whole time, uh, you know, teaching you how to use a, a, a milling machine. Uh, dividing, this is all about uh, dividing um, for gears or indexing or, or that sort of stuff, and it has some plans in for some, some simple dividing fixtures and compound dividing fixtures that you can make. Tool and Cutter Sharpening. Uh, this is a great book. This uh, talks about, uh, um, you know, not only sharpening things like twist drills, but talks about uh, sharpening um, um, uh, end mills and, and even talks about, you know, taps and uh, reamers and that sort of thing. And has a pretty nice little project there for a grinding rest that you can make. And he references the Quorn um, uh, Tool and Cutter um, machine. So that's a good book too, by the way. Uh, model engineers workshop uh, project again these are just uh, other projects um, that you would use uh, in your in your shop uh, the mini lathe uh, this is uh, you know for those folks who uh, have these little bitty lathes it's a, a complete course on that mini lathe tools and projects uh, is, an, is a companion to the mini lathe book and it talks it has a number of projects that, and improvements that you can do uh, to the uh, to the mini lathes and then uh, the milling machine. This is another Harold Hall book, and this is on uh, on accessories and choosing and, and using different accessories and stuff like that. So um, this video is running kind of long. Those are just some of the books that I have that I found very useful. 
And um, again, these uh, workshop practice series, if you're a new guy like me, and, and uh, these, these books are great. And if any of you guys out there have ever read any of these, uh, please comment in the comment section. Uh, don't take my word. If you think some of these books are great um, and useful uh, for new folks to learn on, um, put them in the uh, uh, put them in the comments. If you uh, have books that I don't have that you think uh, are great books to have um, that that would be beneficial to uh, a newbie, um, by all means, please share. That's what this uh, community is all about. So, um, other than that, um, again, I want to thank uh, all the YouTube contributors out there that uh, have uh, just given literally thousands of hours of their time uh, showing their art and their ability and their skills uh, in an effort to teach the rest of us. So, uh, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for your time and your energy. So, other than that, have a blessed day.